from those who may have witnessed some of that. Back to you. Thank you, Mark. Now to breaking news right now in the Middle East, the crisis between Israel and Hamas militants developing by the minute. So how did we get here? The history here is so important. The conflict between Israel and Palestinian militants has been persistent for decades. But the scale of Hamas's attack on Israel this weekend was different. So we're so grateful to have political science professor Bruce Jenelson with Duke's Sanford School of Public Policy joining us now, an expert on the region. Professor Jenelson, I know this conflict goes back decades. Can you briefly sum up what's fueling this particular violence this weekend? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, you know, back in 1993, uh, there was the beginning of a peace process between Israel and the Palestinians. Uh, I was serving in the State Department then and was involved in some of the negotiations. There's a lot of hope and aspiration. Some progress was made, but fault on all sides and it fell apart. And since then, we've had spirals, a number of incidents involving Hamas and Gaza and the Israelis. But what was different about this is those were, you know, a rocket or two fired, a cell of terrorists operating. This was a massive operation that Hamas managed to pull off. They broke through the barrier, which had never even happened before, with bulldozers. They came in paragliders, they came in motorcycles, trucks, uh, by sea, uh, and they actually occupied parts of Israel, small communities, took hostages, took some in place, took them back, and fired over 2,000 missiles all over Israel. And Israel has something called the Iron Dome, which is their missile defense, mm -hmm. uh, which they had a lot of confidence in. But they outsmarted it by the number of, of, of rockets they fired and by the timing. And so now we have something that's not just an incident, but is really becoming a major war. We do know this hour that Israel says they have since seized all of their land again. But Israel has amassed troops at the Gaza border ahead of a possible ground invasion. But we learned that Hamas is threatening to kill Israeli hostages if their civilian targets are hit. So, so what do you make of the challenge here? Yeah, you know, Israel, a, a few years back, one Israeli soldier was taken hostage uh, in Gaza. Uh, and in the end, the trade was for that one soldier, over 260 Palestinian political prisoners were free. With whatever the estimates are, 100, 150, they can be hidden in tunnels, they can be in hospitals, they can be in schools, they can be in apartments. So, so how you bomb the country uh, or how you do a ground incursion uh, is very, very complicated. You know, Israel is a very small country, and, you know, one or two people is significant to any country, ours included, but especially there. So the military options are complicated. Mm. It was a heinous act of terrorism by, the, by, by Hamas, but how to respond is, is going to be very complicated. Duke Professor Bruce Jenelson, thanks so much for your insight. Thank you. Duke Energy continues to upgrade some.